Hi guys and welcome to Cooking with Karma. Now this week I'm sharing with you some of my favorite fudge recipes. On Monday I showed you how to make that absolutely delicious Oreo Nutella fudge and today we're going to make some Twix fudge. This is equally as delicious, I really hope you like it. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So the first thing we need to do is chop up our Twix bars. Then into a pan on medium to low heat we're going to add in our chocolate and our condensed milk. Then just give it a good mix until everything is well combined and that chocolate has melted. Once that lovely chocolate has melted we're going to take it off the heat. Next we're going to add in the butter, the vanilla and a pinch of salt. Then give it one final mix until everything is well combined and the butter has melted. Then we're simply going to pour that into a tin that's been lined with some baking paper. Smooth it out until it covers the bottom of the pan. Then we're going to sprinkle over our crushed up Twix bars. Taking a spoon we're just going to gently press down so it sticks to the chocolate and then we're going to pop it into the fridge to set. While the chocolate fudge is cooling, we're going to make the caramel fudge. Into a pan on medium heat, we're going to melt some butter. Once that's melted, we're going to add in the brown sugar, the condensed milk. Mix until all the sugar has dissolved. And then we're going to add in the golden syrup. Then give that a good mix through. Then while that's starting to bubble away, we're going to keep stirring it until it thickens up. Then we're going to turn down the heat, add in the vanilla and the white chocolate chips. Then stir until all that chocolate has melted through. Then taking our caramel and being a lot quicker than I was because it tends to set quite fast, we're going to spread that over our chocolate fudge. Then to finish it off we're going to drizzle over some melted chocolate. Then into the fridge to set. Sweet and creamy and definitely Moorish. You'll find it hard to stop at just one piece. Yummo! Now what I really love about this particular recipe is the two different textures of each of the fudge combined with that crunchiness of the Twix in between. It really is a taste sensation so I hope you give it a go. Thanks again for joining me, have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you all on Monday.